just something about something about something something about something about there is just something of something about there's just something about something about something about any banana that just melts my heart you little precious girl I love you like I never thought I could love another thing in the world I love you I love you I love you I love you good morning well Annie what's first off today Yep, and what else? Yeah, I know about that already, that's a given. Yes, first off today, we gotta go pick up some mail. You're not even, she's not impressed at all. Happy freaking hump day, everybody. The little break that I took was exactly what I needed to take care of a lot of things that would have normally probably taken me a couple weeks. But before we get on to today's story, we gotta get you guys caught up on these last few days. Because I was actually daily vlogging, just hardly anywhere near a normal daily vlog. I, just like a tiny little bit. But some interesting stuff happened. Like uh, for example, Saturday morning, woke up next to a really cool tree. It's true, I did. Check out this tree. It's pretty cool. I just wanna look at it. Saturday was also laundry day. It's a good day to have once in a while. Everything is in Spanish. I mean, Espanol. Muy pequeño. Sunday morning was much more interesting. Actually, I ended up parking too close to US government property. That right there was security forces See little Annie right there, having the time of her life? She's actually on US government property. So last night, being that I was parked right here, and being that all of this is US government property. Air Force security forces ended up pulling up behind us last night around 1 a.m. They just wanted to know why I was parked here. I looked a little suspicious. They thought I was maybe like scoping out the land for a good place to plant pot or something. Because apparently there was like a drug cartel that had a huge pot field out here and they busted it. First thing I said was, hey guys, I'm Air Force Two. That kind of helped and I just explained what I was doing and by the end of it, they're going to be following me. So, so huge shout out to the Vandenberg Security Forces. You guys were awesome. You know, you saw me out there. I looked weird. You guys came up and you did your job and I didn't mind getting woken up. You guys were pretty cool. There's the base. Monday. Monday was the camera shop where I finally cleaned out my camera sensor. Do you guys have those little dust removers? Like their little air, like a rocket? Alright, I'm getting one of these. Yeah. Actually, the camera looks super clean now. That really cleared it up a lot. Yeah, it would be like right here. It would be like right here and it's not there. So excited! And Tuesday, lemons and avocados. Last night's camping spot, the sandy turnout. Found a nice little sandy turnout. A sandy turnout. Sandy turn. Where did we sleep last night, Annie? Was it a sandy turnout? Sandy turnout. What is that? Is that an avocado? This is like a, this is totally an avocado. It actually looks in pretty good shape. <laughs> I want to see what these signs. Premium avocado grower. Ah, we got some avocados, Annie. I was wondering what all these crates were for. Maybe they load up all the avocados in there, eh, Annie? These are the small ones. They start off green. It looks like they're turning yellower as they get ripened. These are lemons. Hundreds of thousands of millions of lemons. I love lemons. Lemons right here. Avocados right here.
got it. I got it. Yes. No drops. I made it. No drops. You got room. There's plenty of room, right Annie? There's plenty of room. I get asked a lot what I do about mail while living on the road. Well, the mailing address that you guys see at the end of every video, all the mail that gets sent there then gets forwarded to me wherever I'm at. UPS stores actually allow you to send your mail to them and then you just have to pay $5 per package that you pick up. I knew I was gonna be traveling through Santa Barbara in the near future, so that's where I had all my mail forwarded. It all makes sense, full circle. What a shame. Never do that to your Jeep. Never put wheels on your Jeep like that. What a shame. <laughs> How's that for a Wrangler mail time? This is incredible! This is mostly camera gear supplies. Little UV filters to put on the end of my lenses. Mostly to protect the lens itself. They just screw on there like that. There we go. Throw one on here. A bag to actually keep all my extra lenses in and a spare camera. I just need to be more organized when it comes to that stuff because it's super easy to lose that stuff especially when you're running around setting up a camera quick changing lens and you're like oh wait I'm supposed to be doing something else my mom called you know there's a lot to be thinking about it's got the organization I'm gonna need it's got the spots for the lenses things like that it's pretty cool not too big not too small matches the rest of my stuff should work out well so you're probably gonna see me carrying this around a lot more just so I keep everything organized stop losing stuff and breaking stuff Lens caps, lens cleaner, lens cloths, little rocket camera sensor cleaner. Camera cover caps, lens dust caps. All right, so about my handgun. I decided to get a 1911 specific cleaning kit. I wanna clean this baby all the time. And this will make it easier. How cool is that? Nice small little case. I wanted something really small that can fit into this other little green ax, knives, guns, boots. Everything's in here. What is, oh, oh, this is, I did not. <laughs> I thought this was another box of stuff I ordered. This is something totally different. Jake, this will help Annie on the trip. I keep one in my Jeep. Great for off-roading. Cheers, Jim Bishop. IG Jim Bishop one. Jim Bishop. I think you must fill this up with food. This is like a sophisticated instrument. I'm guessing you just fill that sucker up. And then it shows the fill line. So yeah, just pour it in and then, I don't know, this is cool. Thank you so much, Jim Bishop. I'm just gonna, I guess I'm gonna go like, I guess I'm gonna go like this. Oh, do you guys know what this is? I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I talked about this a couple weeks ago. I want to start editing back here using this as my desk. Well, most camping chairs are about 17 to 18 inches high as far as the seat goes. This camping chair is like 25. This sucker is legit. Oh yeah. That is perfect. Put my laptop right here. Dun, 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 now I just gotta figure out where to store this sucker. It does fold very thin, but it's quite long. Bungee strap on the bottom to the cot, and then this is kinda temporary, but it holds up to the rope. Anyways, it's actually completely out of the way, and I could sleep like this too, like my head would be right here. Not the best place in the world for it, but then I don't have to strap it on top, and I think this is probably the only place inside the Jeep I can actually keep it. But this all, this all still opens and everything, so for now, I don't know, it works. This is the best top locking under seat storage safe. Now they don't make one specifically for a YJ because this is supposed to use pre-existing holes for your seat. But reading the reviews, I saw that two people used them on their YJs just with a little bit of modification. Oh man, sucker's deep. Oh, this is cool. 
<laughs> that is awesome. Wow, nice padded little floor. Oh yeah, we're installing that. We're gonna install that. The bolt on the seat bracket right here works fine. The one on this other end isn't quite long enough. And that's where that you know modification would be needed. For now, I'm just gonna throw a bolt in on this side. Just gonna unscrew the bolt, throw it in. She is in. I'm really happy with the turnout. There's plenty of room to still put my toolbox in there as well. It's using one of those fixed bolts that's connected to the frame. So in order to get this off, you actually have to remove the entire seat. And the most important thing, the handgun actually fits. Perfect. And here's how she looks with everything put back in. You can barely tell it's even there. Toolbox able to fit right on top. Nice sleek underneath. Super pumped about it. Yo. Of course you gotta get that bacon going. Yeah, oh man, that looks so good. See this car right here? That's Highway 1. But this was kind of like a sure thing. I didn't want to venture off too far tonight. It's already getting late. We have a nice little area off to the side. It's not too bad. And even though we do have the car noise, the ocean is literally right here. I mean, there's a drain hole. That is a drain hole right there that goes into the ocean. The ocean noise actually drowns out the car noise. So it's really not bad at all. And for Annie, little dog food with some bacon grease sprinkled on top. Oh, yummer. Oh, Annie Banani. When we're this close to the road, I have to keep her on the leash. I wish you could run free, but it's for your own safety. All right, okay. Yeah, get some. Dig in, little girl. You deserve it. And tonight's main entree, scrambled eggs with chicken sausage. Yeah! It's actually gonna be really good. What just happened, Danny? What just happened? We got kicked out of our camping spot, which is actually the first time that's ever happened. Of all the nights I've slept in Jade, I've never had that happen yet. Because normally, I check and make sure that, you know, it's a legit spot. There's no signs that say you can't camp or park or whatever overnight well this place seemed legit but then i woke up to a little whoop whoop by the cops looked out they actually had a light bar shining in and they were standing by a vehicle that had pulled up since i had parked and when i looked out the window they looked over at me and they said hey dude you gotta get out of here so i'm like all right and then i just took off so we're actually i don't know we're only about a mile down the road and found a pretty good pretty good spot knock on cut before i let you guys go i do have a bunch of overdue thank yous to five new patreon pledges josh wright stacy holland kevin pond jake waldrop and matt lloyd a huge thank you to you guys really appreciate what you're doing really appreciate the support as always everybody thank you so much for hanging out with us and we will see you tomorrow i don't know what kind of snake it is and he blends right in Right as I was about to leave, I saw him on the corner of my eye. That is pretty cool. Have fun, dude. Take it easy.